remember to stay hydrated. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's up? Hey. I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Wait. Without acknowledging me, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during nighttime, but I can't just not go. Oh, wow, this is never, we've never done this before. Whoa, we're breaking new territory now. What's up? Hey. Sorry for asking you to meet, meet me with, meet at me so late. It's okay, I'm used Correct. to it. Indeed. So done. Well, then let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance cameras, right? So does that mean... Does this have something to do with whatever you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. What did you steal? So... I stole this. A key. Ooh. Uh, I guess that's what she found now, alright. Looking at it, I could tell right away it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where did you get this? So... From the headmaster's room. You snuck into the headmaster's room, but wasn't it locked? However... The lock was broken. Aha, yes. I So Sakura did do it. What? Correct. It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Indeed. Remember what she said in her notes? I will not just lie down and die. I will fight you. This is what I thought she might mean. So Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us. That's right. So that we could uncover what secrets may lit hidden within. She did that for us. She violated the school regulations to help us. She had already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. I noticed the room was open after the class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why. Oh, I see. That makes sense. So you asked me to meet you there at the data center in order to... Correct. I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity to sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then, what you told me in about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room? Mukuro Ikusaba, the mm -hmm. 16th student, the one they call watch out for. Did you find out about this Mukuro Ikusaba while you were in there? Indeed. I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but one thing I do know is that Mokuro Ikusaba is dangerous. In other words, she may very well be the mastermind. Oh. But didn't Alter Ego say the headmaster was that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet, but I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof, that's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mokuro Ikusaba really could be the mastermind? Anyway. I mean, we know literally zero other things right now, so we may as well assume. Anyway, this key is one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? But, I mean, what does this key even unlock? So... I don't know yet, which is why I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go and find out. So you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't do that, it's way too dangerous. You want me to draw his attention, but we don't actually know there's, there's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than one person watching. Is that right? But they didn't catch on last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Hey. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're going to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again, then what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. Hey. Hey, what else were you going to do, you massive bitch? If it's true the Mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would be a period of time where the Mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true and if we can exploit it. Maybe, but... No matter what the reward, the risk is just too high. When I think about what hap might happen if we fail. I don't think you need to worry all that much. After all, with minimal restrictions, you're free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. 
No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery, am I right? Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. True, that doesn't say hey, it doesn't stay stealing is forbidden, does it now? But if the mastermind decides to do something, all the rules in the world won't matter. He could just kill us all without a second thought. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove, prove or disprove that hypothesis. Correct. In a moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules or adhere to them no matter what? In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now there's no reason not to do it. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. True. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? At that moment, I finally realized. I had never seen the slightest hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us, and with that in view, she just smiled. <laughs> I can't change how I feel, and I wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. Uh-oh. I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it, and a death without meaning is unappealing. Hey. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it, just because you asked me to. But I'm going to give it back at some point. You can't be sure of that. You can Indeed. be sure of that. Yes. Of course. Hey. And one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Sure, because there's a chance the mastermind might find out. Indeed. Well, there's that too. You mean there's something else? Well. Hmm. She thinks one of the students is the mastermind. I've also run this thought through my head a couple times. Cause, like, you know. Um, fucking Jigsaw. Like... Really wanted to get up in the action in that movie. So then. Uh, by the way, look, I hate the Saw movies for reasons that should be evident if you know, like, how I feel about things I talked about, like, 30 minutes ago. But, like, man, was the twist at the end of the first Saw movie so fucking stupid, dude. I couldn't believe it. Oh, this dead body that's been in the middle of the room for, like, fucking days or some shit. Oh, wow, that was Jigsaw the whole time. The whole time he's been laying there, he hasn't moved an inch. He hasn't twitched. Nobody's noticed him breathing. He didn't have to cough, despite the fact he's, like, terminally ill or something. Yeah, perfectly reasonable, dude. Movie's bad. That's the moral of the story. Not just Saw. Movie's bad. All of them. Unilaterally. Anyway, shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just have to get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my goodbye. best shot. I'm going on ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at the brisk pace as she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I felt in my stomach as I watched her walk away. It certainly does feel uh, foreboding, doesn't it? Everything's going to be fine. I know it. Because it's Kyoko. Yeah. Talking to myself helped shape some of my anxiety, shake off some of my anxiety. Let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out here. Hey, Dracula, come out here, you big fucking nerd. I know you're in here. Then a few moments later. Monokuma appears. Well, 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 this is a surprise. You being the one to call me hey, out. Hey. By the way. What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Just the two of you in the middle of the night? Definitely a hot, steamy moment, wouldn't you say? I'm not reading that. Excuse me? Is this a joke or is this real? This is This game is so ridiculous I can't tell if this is meant to be a bit or if this is honest. <laughs> like or if they were just honestly like, oh fuck it.
Wow. He... And Makoto really just let him go, huh? Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. I don't know how to feel about that one. Well, whatever. Unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation far away from X rated exploits. Oh, is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens gets all fogged up and then you can't see anything anyway? Oh no. They're on to me. They've cracked the code. My, Makoto's not as stupid as he looks. That's what I can see inside Monokuma's eye right now. That's exactly what he's thinking. Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. You need anyway, moving on. You went to all that trouble to get me out here. Now, what do you want? Oh, well, um, there's just what, something I wanted to confirm with you. Say what? what? Whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude fella? Actually. But in the Bear Kingdom, there is no male or female. I've never been wildlife before, so I can neither confirm nor deny the validity of that. Uh, actually, there is. Wow. Maybe not from the bear's perspective, though. Have you ever been a bear, Makoto? Of course not. How do you know? Hmm? 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 I bet you've never even been a fucking crab, you poser. My then... Entire existence. What am I? This is kind of That's awesome. enough. I'll get stuck if I think about it too much. So what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well, you told us earlier that your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question. No way it's possible and all, but... Is that seriously what you dragged out here to ask me? You've gotta be kidding me. you gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me. You're not gonna ask something useful, like how to get the best honey or ursa... This is just crazy! Are all pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? I hate this conversation. I hate, I hate it here. Why were we put here just to suffer? God, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you, it was a key and... That's it! What was that second thing? It's a blank, stupid, a secret. Fill it in yourself. The envelope, maybe? Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open your skull and find out. Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. I hope I kept him distracted long enough. I mean, that seemed like it was maybe two minutes tops, but we don't know how long he was talking during that censored bit, I guess. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko, after all. I'm sure she's fine. Right? I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Remember to stay hydrated. to you by Spike Junsoft Company Limited. That's the company. That's it? Whoa. Um. Dude, Namco is making some weird Muso games these days, huh? He's just vibing.
Oh. What, there's more? This super stylish, super fashionable game was cancelled during development. But it'll start back up again if Danganronpa sells well. Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends, too. <laughs> Fourth wall. Good morning, everyone. Get My body feels so heavy. It must be because I was up so late last night. You were up for like 15 minutes, dude. Anyway, I need to get to the dining hall. Now that I'm one to talk, I can be asleep for like 12 hours and I'll still wake up tired. You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain this? Sorry, Taka. Jesus. What's your problem? You really think a tired excuse like that is gonna work? Huh? Are you allowed to talk again? Hmm. I don't recall giving you permission. I just thought, hey, since a day had passed, it would maybe reset. So please don't hate me. Whatever my punishment is, I'll accept. First Monokuma, last night, and now this. If you stop making disgusting comments, maybe I can forgive you. Thank you, I won't make any more disgusting comments, I promise. If I... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's no use. She's disgusting to the bone. So, um... Anyway, where's Kyoko? I haven't seen her this morning. Not cool. This is worse than being late for lunch, for a date, for your wedding, for anything. Um... Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up. Maybe she's dead. Who knows? I can't tell others why, but Kyoko might not be here. Best thing to do right now is keep quiet. Whatever her reason is, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in her room, so... You know? Oh yeah, you still have her key, right? What's this? Are you looking for Miss Kirigiri? What, what? what do you want now? Hey, hey. I'm right, right? You're wondering where's me, where Miss Kirigiri is, right? Do you know where she is? Ooh. Well, it's hard to say. Huh? You don't know either? What? It's because she, he doesn't know. That's why he's here, to try and prod us for information. Uh -huh. Hey, don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and they name some indie bullcrap? True fucking story, bro. You're right. Or they just say some bullshit like clerks. This is I feel like I'm getting whiplash the way he changes subjects. Thank goodness. It looks like Monokuma really didn't notice. So I guess our plan went off just fine. Which could mean. Hey. God, we know. It's a, we know. Could she have been right? Hey, hey. So, was I right? You're looking for Miss Kirigiri? Any idea where she might have gone? Any, uh, um, just uh, asking for a friend? Hmm. We have no idea. And even if we did, we wouldn't tell you. For serious. Hmm. I see. Well, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sayonara, suckers. As soon as he was gone, we all glanced around at each other. Hmm. So what was that just now? Does that mean Monokuma doesn't know where she is either? Hmm. It would seem that way. You know? Where the heck could she have gone? Um... Don't you think we should go look for her? And how do you suggest we approach that task? We like go and look around the school. Even Monokuma can't seem to locate her. Very how come he... How come he, how can he not know where she is? There are several rooms we know of that don't have cameras in them. Yeah, totally. So strange. Kyoko must have used that key to sneak into some unknown part of the school. But somewhere even Monokuma wouldn't notice? Where could it be? 
We spent the rest of breakfast talking about where Kyoko could have gone. Afterwards, we returned to our rooms. Sure, nothing else pressing is happening right now. Breakfast didn't make me feel any more upbeat. This is more than just staying up late last night. Man, I don't want to talk to fucking anyone after that last trial, to be honest with you. Well, I would have been okay with Kyoko, the only fucking normal one. But, you know, can't have that, I guess. I guess we'll go talk to Hina in the dojo. Even if it's hard, you have to endure, endure, endure. That's a quote from the famous marathon runner Samuel Wanjiru. But every person's endurance has a limit. Yes. I think we need a change of pace. And when I think change of pace, I can only think of 50 laps in the pool. I changed my pace with Hina in the pool. Yes. I did not go and buy anything new, but that's okay. We'll give her a cup noodle. <laughs> it's like you read my mind. So hungry. Please. Help me, I'm hungry. I just gave you a cup noodle. What am I supposed to do? Give you my other four cup noodles? Jesus. I need food, anything. This is really, this is, this is unfortunate. I don't care if it's a stack of paper, need food. Why don't you just eat some more donuts? I can't, that's my secret weapon for emergencies only. If I kept gorging on something with that many calories, I'd get fat in no time. So she, so even she cares about that kind of thing. Yeah. D yeah, she's an athlete, I bet she does. <laughs> Why would you need to wonder? I don't want anything sugary right now. I want a salty snack. Like potato chips. Like ramen. How is that a snack? Is this a cultural thing? Ramen seems like it could easily be a snack. You got it all wrong. How is it not? Speaking of which, what's your favorite kind of ramen? Show you, without a doubt. You got it. Ah, good choice. Definitely the most refreshing option. What about you? You're worried about calories and all, okay. so... I'm a portastic to tonkotsu girl, through and through. Or you don't care about calories at all. <laughs> the key element of any tonkotsu ramen is the butter and the extra fat. So you're okay with all that oil? Ugh, oh. talking about it just made me even hungrier. Maybe it's time. Maybe I can make it to the dining hall. Are you sure? I mean, a bowl of ramen has way more calories than a donut. Who says stuff like that? Are you a real man or aren't you? What? Are you afraid of? Afraid of ramen? You're pathetic, Makoto. I'm ashamed to know you. <laughs> you silly. Shut up! Get out of my way. I'm gonna show you what a real man looks like. Okay. Or are you gonna stand in the way and suffer the fist-based consequences? No, I have no intention of getting in your way. Then don't. If I don't do this now, when am I ever gonna get another chance? Crying out like a starving raven, Hina ran off at a dangerous clip toward the kitchen. I can relate to Hina a lot. Extraordinary focus. I'm guessing that does something to focus retention. You know, I learned my lesson and made my way back to the room. Well. Oh, wait, is it not about to go back? This is about... No, okay. Okay, where's Hero? <laughs> We've got... Not a lot of uh, options right now. Well, technically we do, but uh, two of them are definitely not an option for me. He's in the kitchen. Ah, that's the bathroom. I'm all, I always do it. I always do it. Get out of my way, nerds. Why are you hiding back there, buddy? What the heck? A certain organization is behind all of this. I'm finally sure of it. But I can't say their name. Because as soon as you do, they come and get rid of you. Kurt Cobain said their name. John Lennon said their name. Uh... They're bad. So bad. Really, really bad. 
I don't know that we should, but we have no other options. Well? Why don't we have a heated discussion about cosmono cosmology? Cosmology? Cosmogeny. Cosmogeny. Yeah. I learned all about heroes' theories on the origin of the universe. That must have been fascinating. Sure. Um... Do I have another crystal skull? Damn! Alright, um... Shit. Uh... Uh... Have an unending dandelion. I wonder how much I could get for this at the pawn shop. <laughs> kidding, kidding, I appreciate it. Well? Hey, Makoto. Are you familiar with Kamada? It's a tiny little suburb in Tokyo, right? Yeah, I've heard of it. What about it? Hmm. Well, don't tell anyone I told you this, but... They appear there. What does? Uh, um... UMAs. UMAs are... Cryptids. Talking about cryptids, right? I... Look. I'm a true crime nerd. Man. Fucking love me a cryptid as well. Crypt cryptids are also just, like, fucking fascinating. My man, Flatwoods Monster, dude, amazing story. Both a bunch of guys go out to LARP in the woods, get yelled out by a fucking barn owl on a stump, and then they're like, fucking aliens, dude, dude, there was a, fuck, there was a fucking monster out there, dude. It, it, it looked like this. And then they made drew a picture of the fucking Flatwoods monster, and they weren't immediately laughed out of the room. Fucking incredible, dude. Amazing. And Mothman, of course, the classic. Yo, real talk. Why is the Flatwoods monster not in Shin Megami Tensei? Why? Anyway. You know? You got it. And it just so happens they've been appearing in little old Kamada. What? What kind of cryptid? You got, you got any good cryptids in there? The terrifying skyfish. In the West, they're usually just called rods. They can fly and they have a thin body and a wide fin. They can move their fins in a wave pattern, which lets them move faster than the naked eye can see. Could it be? You ever heard of the Ano, ano Malo Malocaris? Some people think that's what the skyfish evolved from. And some others think they're artifi an artificial life form, a genetically in engineered military super weapon. Isn't that scary as hell? But what would they be doing in Tokyo and in Kamada, no less? Nobody knows, but I think they're dangerous. You know how close Kamada is to Haneda, Haneda Airport? I don't want to wait till it's too late. I've been thinking I should call all the all the airlines. Hmm. They need to know there's a way to get rid of those damn skyfish, and I know what it is. As long as they can pay my fee, I can keep things safe for them. That's what I'm going to tell them. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I see a lot of jail time in your future. Plus, isn't that, like, super occult? Cryptids aren't a cult. Shut the fuck up. Y'all don't know what the fucking occult is. Look at Jesus Christ. Oh, bro. Oh, you amaze. Fucking occult, dude. Dude. No. No. I can't even, like, think of a cryptid off the top of my health that even come oh, Top of my health. Top of my head that even comes remotely close to being, like, an occult figure. Ugh. I'm getting the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. I need sleep. Nighttime wasn't for a while, but I felt like my body had reached its limit. As I dropped onto my bed, I felt like I was falling into a bottomless pit. I was unconscious before my head hit the pillow. Well, that's not quite true. I didn't pass out completely. It was about like my consciousness went dim. I weaved back and forth between sleep and wakefulness. Which is all to say... You're sleeping in your clothes? What is wrong with you? He's wearing his fucking jacket in bed. What is the... Oh my god, we're playing as the fucking villain. I was restless. At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. He's probably wearing his fucking socks as well. Ugh. 
and within the dream, a voice echoed across the walls of my mind. I under understand. That voice, it's so familiar. I it's... understand. It's me. I understand. Oh, it's about to get fucking weird. I should understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. Huh? What am I trying to say? This is all for hope. And that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. <laughs> My dream just now. What? So strange. Huh? That's what you get for wearing your fucking jacket in bed. Oh shit. That's a bit of an escalation. Oh! Every day is peaceful. Every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing only for those unchanging, unending, happy days. Days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eye can see. Life without the tiniest speck of abnormality. If the world were like that, I'd consider that pretty damn abnormal. Whoa, dude, are you a philosophy major? That was deep. Remember to stay hydrated. Good morning, everyone. It took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. I let out a deep sigh to bring myself up the rest of the way. The chills, the aches, the uncomfortable lethargy, they had all disappeared in the night. All that was left was me, drenched in sweat. It wasn't just because of whatever bug I'd caught either, it was also the dream I'd had. What the hell was that? I mean, was it even really a dream? I was so desperate to recall it, I scrambled to grab onto any fragment of the dream and reel them up from the depths of my memory. That's right, I remember last night, the luchador was here, and he was angry. I came down with a fever and couldn't get quite get to sleep because I go to bed fully dressed. And I heard a voice I didn't really understand, and then... The Lucha was there. He'd come to punish me. All of a sudden, there was a strange person standing next to my bed wearing a mask. They were holding a knife. I want to say I fought them off, but I'm too much of a bitch. I felt like my mind had been detached from my body, burning up with fever. I was somewhere far away, watching my body move on its own, and because of that, I don't remember what really happened. But still, I feel like I resisted them desperately, feverishly. So, the thing is, the question becomes, how did they know where the knife was, right? And Makoto had put it in his drawer, so he needs to have, they need to have seen that. To have uh, known to get it, so presumably it was somebody that can watch the surveillance cameras. Or they were just in the room with us and we didn't know. And after that, things go black again. Next thing I remember, Kyoko was there, standing over me in an ominous way, as if to say, Oh, you're approaching me. What should she, but what would she have been doing in my room? Maybe that was her. What a strange dream. Was it really a dream? 
How can I possibly find out either way? Well, is the knife there? Sure isn't. It's empty. There's nothing inside. That thing inside? That's strange. Because it definitely wasn't before. You sure are, You sure did. How long is it going to take you to put these two facts together? That means... The knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it. I just had a feeling. It wasn't a dream. But if that's true, this all makes even less sense, does it? Why would someone have wanted to attack me? Who could have possibly imagined? Whoa, why would anyone want to attack you? And who was behind that? Who was that behind the mask? And why was Kyoko? What the hell is going on? I'm gonna guess right now Kyoko was in the costume. To what end, I don't know. But I'm gonna guess that was Kyoko in the costume. I don't think I'm gonna figure it out on my own. I should head to the dining hall. Then I can talk to everyone else about it. They'll surely know what happened. They'll be able to answer the question. Hey, Makoto. Ah, Makoto. Yep, that's Makoto. Sure as the sky's blue. Hey, Hina. That was weird. Okay. Um, you really had me worried, you know. What happened to you last night? Worried? I mean... Yeah, right after nat time, night time hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been, you know. <laughs> I mean, not that there's that had actually happened. I mean, nobody here would wanna. Yeah. yeah sure. Who would want to do that, right, murderer? <laughs> anyway, what are you doing? I didn't feel good, so I went to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. Why did you come to get me? Did something happen? Well, lots of stuff, actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. Let's meet up with everyone else. What's going on? So, is everyone waiting somewhere That's else? Right. Yeah, they, we stayed up the whole night. The whole night? <laughs> I lost at rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. So you got here just in time. Come help me carry it. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. The entire night. What the fuck's going on, dude? There he is. This is worse than being late for your own wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. What? Jeez, to show up now like it's no big deal. You made us stay up all night while you slept like a baby in your bed. Just like Hina said, everyone was there, besides Kyoko. Then I noticed. They'd formed a circle around something. And as soon as I saw what that something was... What the... Before I could catch my breath, I'd cried out. Oh! Spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's not in the face. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but what is this? What are you guys doing? He do be getting got. It looks like it's been professionally disassembled. How is that even possible? Tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Seriously, what are you thinking? How can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Hey, well, I guess I'll handle it. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Byakia found this little fella laying around. Then we tore it apart. That doesn't explain anything. What? Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try to talk to Monokuma. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him here, just like normal. However, 
When I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. Hmm, Kyoko must be doing something. You're saying he hasn't mo wasn't moving at all? I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered up everyone as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. So I immediately initiated the disassembly process. It was Master Stroke of Genius, a chance to find out what made Monokuma tick. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? But besides that, what I'm wondering is, why did he stop moving all of a sudden? Well, you should not be curious as to what happened. Kyoko is clearly doing something behind the scenes. Hmm. I thought maybe he'd malfunctioned, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. So if he didn't break so down, words. maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected. <laughs> they were probably so scared of Master, they ran away in terror. Or maybe they got sick. But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that if not the mastermind? Hmm. That could, yeah, just played on a loop. It is always the same message. It sets to a timer and plays as necessary. Mm. That's true. He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey, hey guys, I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. Oh. I just felt... It's... Huh? It's what? Hmm. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? What? A bomb! <laughs> That's super bad, we need to get rid of it. Roger that. It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, it's sure to go off. Motion sensor. For serious, I'm starting to get all shaky. Get it together, you're a man, aren't you? I'm fine, I'm totally fine. You're so not fine, you're all ah, ah, ah. Oh, I probably should have mentioned the motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> Jeez, don't scare me like that. God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. Don't be me. Hey, come on, the century's just getting started. Don't call the race already. Whatever, just hurry and put the bomb down. Hanging on to it's not gonna do anyone any good. Uh, um, Maybe we should go put it somewhere. Well. It's okay, everything's all good. Damn, that's a big bomb. Hero put the bomb down, but that wasn't my main concern at that point. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. Was it really because something happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could that have been? A mystery indeed. I couldn't help but think back to the night before. Being attacked by that masked figure. Just a second. Makoto? Hey. Don't hurt us. Did you hear a word we just said? That's a no. What are you, some kind of brain-dead farm animal? Mm. We were saying, since we're done dismantling Anokuma, what should we do now? Huh. And we've decided to continue our offensive assault. To try and uncover the Mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the Headmaster's room. Really? Naturally. Since the Mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance, wouldn't you agree? But if the Mastermind comes back while we're in there... What? If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. And go live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens. You can be chicken number six. Such this is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. But... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anything else, but now we have a chance. Come on. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away, or are you going to fight? You're right. I'll go with you. Okay, then. We're going to break into the headmaster's room. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. I'll follow you anywhere, master. Sakura, if you can hear me, lend me your strength. How about that? I can do this. I'm a man and I can do this. I've got this I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. We each found determination in our own ways, and when we were ready, we left the gym. Here we go, boys. We're going in. Hmm. It's locked, as expected. So what are you gonna do? Isn't it obvious? We're going to tear this door off its hinges. But the rules say, 
We've seen the headmaster isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. But, but like Makoto said, if the mastermind did show up, so in then we'll words, just have to agree to finish our business before that can happen. Hey. Okay, sure, but... We've come this far, we can't back down now. We agreed this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. So beautiful. I mean, For serious. We don't have any choice, we're desperate. Okay. Let's do it, let's rip this door down. Actually. Okay, but how are we gonna do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Well, we did happen to find something that would be very good at opening a door. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. What about that one thing? Oh, the pickaxe. Oh, so then. Fair enough. I see. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. Toko, what time is it? It's just before nine o'clock, so it's probably nine on the dot now. It's all clear now. Okay, go get the pickaxe and be back by 9.01. That's straight up unreasonable. By myself? Naturally. Surely you have the time. Surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? Well, if it's me and you, Time Master. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. Uh -huh. With that, Toko ran off, loud as a herd of rabid elephants. Elephants. Hey. We're serious, though. Are we gonna knock this door down? Hm. No problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. <laughs> Toxic masculinity. He's right. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Even if it's dangerous, we have to uncover the challenges in front of us. Uh, um. Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense I can hardly talk. I'm all flabust. No, I'm totally flabbergast. Flabstaff. Fap sauce. Gross. Where'd that come from? Wait, Genocide Jill, where'd you come from? You so it's the Wondiferous Murderferous Fiend here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. Come on. What about the pickaxe? Oh. I was supposed to pick an axe. No, you seeping imbecile. The pickaxe. Uh -huh. Seeping imbecile? Oh, master, you wound me with your executive level barbs. <laughs> here comes the bloody nose. God, I hate them. Seriously, though, did you forget the pickaxe? They rest. don't share memories, we know this. Omega-3 fatty acids, that's what you need. Great for the old memory factory. We already established that memory doesn't carry. Not possible. This is a level of useful uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Ah, yes. oh, the light bulb just went on. That's why I went to the garden ride. I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> Solve one more mystery. That means there's just one more mystery left. I assume you found the dead body. Now we need to figure out the identity of Object X. What are you talking about? Did you already forget what we were talking about? You're like missing out on life. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What did you find? C or pus? I said corpse. A corpse. That's right. Found a corpse in the garden. You found a corpse in the garden? What did you well then, say? before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. We're going to the garden. As soon as we entered the garden, I saw it. I didn't want to, but... Mm -hmm. I saw someone laying on the ground with a mask covering their face. And there was a knife buried in their stomach up to the hilt. What the? Are they really dead? For sure, but who is it? That was jazzy. Just to make things clear. Last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask. And whoever that was, now they're... I don't know why, but they're laying dead in front of me. I told you there's a corpse hanging out no here. Way. Are they really dead? Is this really a dead body? Sure looks like it. What? You need to begin looking around right away. However, be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. 
We need to find out who this actually is, but there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face. And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible to tell anything about the body itself. The victim is a total mystery. If only there was some way we could find out what was underneath those objects. How did they wind up dead in here? Hmm. Their heart isn't beating. They're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. That's thanks to the knife that's been driven into their stomach. Their clothes are stained a bright red. It appears the bleeding has stopped, but the blood that's there is still wet. Ah, uh, not necessarily. This is after the sprinklers have gone through, so that might have just moistened it back up again. Be careful you don't touch it and get some on you. Um, um... How could you be so calm at a time like this? Who, who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. I'm pretty sure it's a girl, at least. Yeah, they've got feminine hands. How can you tell? Well, I think I see the outline of her chest and just the general shape of the body. The more I look at it, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Okay, then. Let's just tear the mask clean off. Wait, don't. Oh, we have to, dog. In the next instant. Oh! Maybe she's dead. <gasps> Maybe she's dead. Maybe she's dead. Maybe she's dead. Maybe she's dead. There was a blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. It blew up. It blew up. It blew up. It blew up. My vision started to darken. I prepared to pass out. But then, hurry up. Put out the fire. And as my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hands. It was a bucket of water. <laughs> Come on, dump the water on it. The upper half of the body was on fire, so I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Sploosh. Amazing. That went out incredibly far fast. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. I guess that took care of it. But what the hell, man? It exploded? I had say? a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body... Yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard to tell who that was. That's beyond well done, man. Don't compare it to a steak. I'll never be able to eat steak again. Is Toko dead? But now that the body's charred, I really have no idea. How are we gonna find out who it was? Hmm. Who isn't here right now? If we consider who's not here, that will quickly narrow down to who it must be. Ah, uh, you see, I was prepared to accept that this would be Kyoko until this happened. Because now we can't confirm it either way. If we could, so I um, don't, now I don't think it's Kyoko anymore. There's only one person missing. It's Kyoko. No, I don't think it is. Then that dead body is Kyoko? That can't be right. Calm down, I didn't say it was Kyoko. Who else? There is one other person. In other words, the mastermind. True? The mastermind? There's no way. The mastermind got charred broiled? Get serious. I agree. Normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have reason to believe it may be true. Mastermind's not doing stuff. The mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Manokuma can hardly move around if its master is dead, right? But... But that corpse is a girl, right? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, remember what Alter Ego said? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What the heck? He said the mastermind is some middle-aged dude, right? And could it be the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Huh? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student at Hope's Peak. What? What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student hidden in the school. I think you better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko said was... Yeah. Oh, I feel like I've seen this scene before. Hmm. It sounded like Kyoko thinks Mukuro Ikusaba is the mastermind. There's another student here, and it's female. That would match the body's characteristics. And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it does sound super mastermindy, doesn't it? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, Mukuro. 
and there's, she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair. But if she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot... How'd she wind up burnt to a crisp? What do you mean? We, saw the, we just saw the bomb go off. That's how. None of this makes sense, any sense, to just suddenly show up and then die. I think we better take a closer look at the body. There may be some clues to help us figure out exactly who it is. Hey, wait. Um... Aren't we forgetting something? Yeah, is she dead? She totally got blown up, right? Forget about her. I'm sure the explosion vaporized her. We can only hope. Ah! Oh! Ah, <sighs> getting excited. She survived. Ah, you know, for once, Biakia, we see eye to eye on this point. What happened, Master? You declared for the world to hear that you would never again inhale a single molecule of oxygen. Oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale. That is the strangest back and forth I've ever seen. So anyway... I should take a closer look at the body. Watch out, it may explode again. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. Don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko, after all. So you all are just willing to accept that you find, like, half the things. I thought it had nail polish on. There's something on the ground here. Oh, fucking okay. There's something next to the body. It's a key. Is this what Kyoko took from Monokuma? No, she showed you what she took. So. Yeah. That's right, the key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. Yeah. You fucking idiot. And this key is. What? What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. That probably opens the water panel, doesn't it? Like, it's really weird to be a door key. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. That key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. The bio lab, the data center, and the headmaster's room. Oh, okay. I thought it would be for that control panel, but fair enough. All right, well, since we're here, we'll go try over here first. What's going on in the raw room? Let's give it a shot. Nope. Okay. Take me downstairs. Nope. This one, maybe? Hey, it's this one. Cool. It just didn't really look like a door key, you know? I guess all that running paid off. I have to tell everyone else. So you're back. How'd it go? I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center. Then we can get into the data center now? Interesting. But why did the now deceased have that key on them? I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. Here we are. Looks like the door is still unlocked. Um, so when you open that door, there's not going to be another huge kaboom, is there? Uh, um, You're asking that question now. Hmm. Don't worry, we have Makoto. In other words, it's in your hands again. That means I trust you. That's an absolute lie, of course. But you know, I reached out and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. He's peeking. In a word, the room was... Strange. I mean, all the rooms till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. What? Hey, that's... Hero extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. Yeah, who would have guessed? 
Each monitor displayed a different section of the school, the dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school was covered. This is, what? is the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. Well, the cameras in the school feed back into this room, and they're displayed here on these monitors. Various dudes. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. Watch us? I like how everyone's surprised this was happening. The Mastermind's private room, without a doubt. The Mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. So the Mastermind was here. Watching us. Then I think this settles it. The body in the garden. If they had the key to this room, it could only mean one thing. That was the body of Mukuro Ikusaba, and she was the mastermind. Sorry, I'm just gonna Google something really quick. Because I felt like I recognized the pattern on that hand. I'm not Googling who is the mastermind, by the way. I'm Googling Junko. Um... Danganronpa Junko. Now, let's see if we can get an image of that hand. Because what stood out to me was that it had red nail polish. Hmm. Nope. She's got... Yeah, there's the an image of her being stabbed. I can see both her hands. Neither of them seem to have anything on them. Never mind. Because the red nail polish stood out as weird to me. I was like, isn't that Junko? That was the body of Mukuro Ikusaba when she was the mastermind. And the mastermind is dead. Like, really, really dead? Let's not get too excited, boys. For serious? It's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill them himself. Mastermind is dead. Could that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? Nah. I mean that body. Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. Eh, you never know. So who was it? But, but if the Mastermind really is dead, no! that means we can finally get out of this hellhole. Not necessarily. We gotta find the exit. That's enough. No, we have to check this area thoroughly. But what about the exit? Hmm. If the Mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, we need to find out why the Mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. Hmm. And I'm bothered by the fact the Mastermind was obviously murdered. Murdered? Yeah. Obviously. The state of the corpse makes it plain to see, there is absolutely no doubt. The Mastermind was murdered. Why's it gotta be that way? I mean, who could have done it? That's exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the Mastermind. Now you understand, you useless insect. You're banned from talking to Master ever again. The Mastermind's purpose and why they were killed. I wonder if these cameras record or if it's just always play. Okay then, let's begin our search. There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high-performance PCs, nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Ego was installed on. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. So what, we can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. What century are you from? The Mastermind must have been using these to monitor the network. An alter ego. You may well be right about that. But there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. Fuck! Didn't mean to do that. Alright, so what can I look at in the room? Okay. We got... There's nothing showing up on this one. Hey, look, next to that TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? Yes, it, it is. Just like the one my grandma uses. It's totally used one of those high-def antennas. So if we hook up that antenna, we could watch TV. Did someone say TV? You know? Well, well, Saturday morning Hina's here. Mm. What, are you talking? What, what the fuck was that? Okay. If we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. You know? Oh, you're starved for info from the inside outside world, mm. huh? Let me work my magic and you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? D do it. Okay. Still don't have the you TV know? fix? Just give me some time, okay? Gotta make sure we can drive Spaceship Earth safely. 
There's a really ridiculous number of monitors here. And the Mastermind's been using them all to spy on us. As long as I have this. Look at Master Go, it's like a feast for the eyes. Uh-huh. Um, nothing else? Door time. No, not computer time. Door time. This door's kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? No um. luck. Door's locked. What if you use that key to open this room? Nope, no good. Uh, yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Right. Guess you're right. Can't stop thinking about that door with Monokuma's picture on it. But worrying about it isn't going to do me any good. Hina's right. The Mastermind's gone. So there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. You know? <laughs> oh, oh, ho, ho. Good news for all you Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. Really? Now all we got to do is switch what? it on. Then do it. Freaking Mastermind. Oh, you... All you guys, you guys need to cut free from the regrets of the outside world. And they were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it. <laughs> Naturally. This is... It's the feed coming from the surveillance camera monitoring this room, isn't it? What the heck? Are we in the fucking Truman Show? What are you doing? Huh? That's really weird. Mm. You're weird. Weird in every way possible and not just weird, super what? weird. This TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how is it showing the camera feed? Well... Did you try changing the channel? Uh, oh, um... good idea. <laughs> of course. It was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. Is it broken or something? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. Uh. Hey, Monokuma. A trick? What kind of trick? Actually, I'm not sure, but... Huh? Hmm? Huh? 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 What? <laughs> <laughs> it been a while, you friggin' bastards. You're supposed to be dead. Me? Dead? Don't be freaking stupid. What? You're acting kind of strange. Something seems different. Of course. of course I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Uh, Not even. It's been like half a day. Oh. How are you alive again? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. The look on your faces right now is sublime. That's what I wanted to see, the moment you went from hope to despair. <laughs> Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all for this moment. <laughs> Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. I mean, that's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh now. Well, now. And that's that. Shing. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past that's so full of hope and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want all of you to have fun in this killing game. Huh? You can't be serious. We have to keep going. We were supposed here. to get out of here. Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? Unreal. How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. And besides, yep. this isn't all bad, you know. I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Mm. Are you serious? This place is the worst. If it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? Well now. No hope. Whoo, I'm pooped from all that laughing. Guess I'll just get to the point now. The point. Hey, um... You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. The heck? Well, I connected the antenna, so why is it just showing us the surveillance feed? Look how attentive they are now. 
Well then, I'm gonna let you in on a blood-gushing secret and tell you about it. That TV is absolutely without a doubt displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Huh? But what does that mean? It's displaying the signal, but it's just us standing here. Unbelievable. You're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. Thrills, chills, kills. The Killing Game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. I see. Extreme. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Uh-huh. Right. Again, you know, this statement has a lot of room for interpretation. Even if, if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? That's... It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? How does that feel, Byakuya? If that's true, then that means lots of people know you're in here, and they don't care if you die. Oh, the camera no. feed is being broadcast. No way, that's impossible. That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that? All you need is one weird trick I found, and hijacking the airways is easy mode. Are you being serious right now? Of course. I heard a kind of creaking, but the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean, my boat mind began to creak and grow. Hey, um... Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries. Even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience to show them true despair like they'd never seen it before. I became the director of a despair-based production. This is the ultimate reality show, the best in despair entertainment. What are you saying? You're lying. If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy. There's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. Actually... What if? He already did. Huh? Yes, indeed. But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Hmm. Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though, so whatever. This can't be. But to take control of all communications like that, you'd need an astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep. So how could things have come this far? Well, that's a secret. There's something you all need to do first, remember? Of course. Yeah, there's a little business of... Yeah. A body has been after a certain amount of... Man, this is gonna be a wild one, huh? Do you mean? <laughs> it's the Monokuma file! Yeah! Heart-pounding excitement! Okay, things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out. You're in for a heck of a ride. I can't wait! I can't wait! <laughs> I'm pretty excited for this one. And then he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible. The troop hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there for, I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. It took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. Uh -huh. I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment and how is he still alive? I'm sick of I this. thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. What did he say about a class trial? Well, that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means at this point is we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. Oh, you're pivoting hard, huh? What the heck? What are you talking about? I thought Mukuro Ikusaba was the one who did it. <laughs> the victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fills that condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active... That means the mastermind, Mukuro Ikusaba, isn't dead. So naturally, the body can't belong to her. It must be Kyoko. Mm, there's no other possibility. 
The body is Kyoko's. Mm. 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 Because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. To have it end like this. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe Quiet. it. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Anyways, we'd better begin. Bye. But if we're gonna have a class trial, that means the killer right. must be participating in our school life. <laughs> so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? No, but I think Kyoko killed them. Hmm. Well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Uh -huh. But you just said, I don't have time to explain now. There's a veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. This is how the game works, after all. Fuck yeah, let's go. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Okay. Even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. Ergo, not Kyoko. I have no choice, I have to investigate. I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Let's go, boys. Okay, time to get started. So, first, is something missing? No, but something's appeared. This room is dusty and disor- uh-huh. Is this a tarp? Was there a tarp in here before? I should probably look into that. Yeah. The top is wet and covered with mud and grime, but the underside is totally clean. So that side was probably face up when the sprinklers turned on or something. Tarp. Half clean. Beep, beep. Wet and dirty. There's one thing in here that concerns me. What's going on? Is this a different? Uh huh. Crazy diamonds. Uh. Nothing else is different, is it? These tools have nothing to do with the case. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay! Well, that was exciting. Let's examine the body now, huh? Huh? There's something weird about the body's fingernails. They're fake nails. They're really long. They seem like they'd get in the way of normal activity. Mm-hmm. There's also something on the back of her right hand. Is this a tattoo? It got burned, so I can't make out the whole thing, but... It looks like a picture of a dog? Oh, I guess so. I thought that middle was, like, mostly empty, but that does look like a, like a face. Though I'm not sure it's supposed to. I didn't pay enough attention before the incident. The ja v white jacket the victim was wearing got totally burnt up. There's only one little piece left. That's not really a little piece. The lower half of the body didn't get wet at all. And after the body blew up, the top, top half got set on fire, so I dumped a bucket of water. Which explains why the bottom half isn't wet. Hmm. Seems pretty sus. Um. Bop. Body. Only. Half. Ah.
Yeah, but half the body got set on fire in the explosion, so it's totally blackened. Also, the top half of the bed body is wet. That's because it got set on fire, so I threw water on it. The body got tampered with, I'm going to assume. Brackets. Um, maybe... Tampered. With. Um, while we were busy. While... We... Were... Busy. Because, uh, you know... There's nothing strange about the top half being wet. Mm. I like how heavy-handed they are with that one. Yeah, there's nothing weird about that. Or is there? I suspect it got flipped around while we were away. Um, well, maybe not, because there is water on the floor as well. Whatever. What is this? Fragments of something. They're all burnt, so I can't really be sure, but... I feel like I've seen something like it before. Have we? Wait, was it there? I'll have to double check that later. What have we seen that looks like this? And the knife, there's a knife laying on the ground. This knife looks awfully clean. Is this? Hmm, the explosion must have thrown it over here? Did it? Monokuma file said the knife went all the way through the body from front to back. Does that mean the knife is what caused the fatal injury? Either way, this knife, it looks really familiar. Yeah. That's it, it's the knife that person was holding. Hmm, this is getting really weird. Whoever the person in the mask was that attacked me last night, they were holding that knife. They also didn't have those fingernails. And that same knife, like, those were more masculine looking hands. And that same knife was used to stab that same masked attacker. So maybe this masked person got stabbed because... They got attacked. I was kind of in a trance. Maybe I reacted by grabbing the knife. No chance. You're too much of a bitch. If this really is Kyoko, it would mean Kyoko is the one that attacked me. But why the mask? Hmm. I'm pr the mask at some point has switched persons, I'm pretty sure. There's no way. That knife seems awfully sus. It looks pretty fucking clean for having been all the way through someone's body. Even after it got some water on it. There's only four chickies. Yo. What's going on, Makoto? Well, I'm glad you're here. Do you remember how many chickies there were? Mm. Of course, there were precisely five. Huh? What's wrong? There's only four chickies. Huh? Uh, I don't like that. Wonder where it disappeared. What? I was just down here before nighttime last night, and there were definitely five chickies. What? what are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. Conspiracy. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. If even a single piece disappears, the whole world will remain unfinished. I did my best to ignore Hero. Why did one of the chickens disappear? Where did the chicken go? Why did the chicky go? Is that something? No. Has this been interacted with? Uh-huh. Hold on. So the sprinklers turn on at 7.30 each morning, right? Mm-hmm. And if the body was here before then, the sprinkler should have got it, gotten it wet. Which means the murder must have taken place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, a little dry, isn't it? But then there's also the half-clean one that's in there. Uh, oh wait, we should examine the plant. Monokuma flower, huh? Does it really eat paper, plastic, and people? 
I don't know, dog. I think it might be. Team, thoughts? What do you want to talk about? I'd like to hear your alibi. Yep, here it comes. Correct. I'd love to hear where you were after nighttime began. I was sick, so I was asleep all night. But why are you asking about that now? Well, you see, they gave us that knife. I knew we were going to get accused the second they gave us the knife. And then they couldn't find us. Naturally. Isn't it obvious? This murder took place after nighttime. Hmm. How can you know that for sure? Because just after nighttime began, I came to the garden. I was going around looking for everyone so I could tell them about Monokuma. Actually, that's a good point. That's probably the more... I'm probably overthinking this tampering thing. It's probably just that, like, if it's... If there are any dry parts on the body, then that means the murder has to have taken place after 7.30. Or, it was tampered with while we were away, because we were away for a while. But it's probably going to be more to do with timing. Hero's been spending most of his time in the garden the last few days, so I figured he'd be here. And I can confirm when I arrived last night, there was no body here. In other words. So the murder could only have taken place at some point during nighttime after I left the garden. But also, it seems, after the sprinklers went off. However, Toko, Hiro, Hina, and I were in the gym together the entire night last night. Hm. Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toko and Hina's rooms to get them. At that point, we all went to the gym and began dismantling Monokuma. As a precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. In other words, all four of us have airtight alibis. The only one who don't have alibis are me and Kyoko. That's right. And if the victim really is Kyoko, then I'm the only one without an alibi. <laughs> also, when we get to, when we, as we went to go get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as well. But you never came to the door. So where precisely were you? I'm telling the truth, I was in my room, but I was dead asleep. I had a fever. <laughs> That's hardly an alibi. I know. <laughs> so what now? You seem to be at quite the disadvantage here. I'm the only one without an alibi. That's really bad. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's 11 o'clock right now. Right now, so... Um... I'm just gonna write, uh, kill, um, yeah. Uh, it happened between 7.30 and 11. Okay, and, well, I was just thinking about when we first found the body. When the body was found, huh? I should look back at what I did this morning to help me remember when that was. Woke me up at 7 o'clock, as usual. Mm -hmm. Once I met up with Hina, yep, that's fucking, that's it. It's not that it's been tampered with. It's because if it's dry, the murder happened after 7.30, so I now have an alibi again. Gotcha, scrub that out. So, I have... Headed to the gym where everyone was waiting. Toko went to go get the pickaxe. That's when she found the body. Maybe a self-report? No, she wouldn't have let herself get bought. Oh, maybe she would have done. Maybe it's all a triple bait. Who fucking knows after the last case? What time was it then? What time is it? It's just before 9 o'clock. Yeah, it's probably 9 on the dot. So... This, uh, uh, Toko... Found it at nine, nine, nine a.m. That's right. It had to have been around nine o'clock. You know? Now that you mentioned it, I think you're right. So I think we can say for sure the body was found at nine. That's a pretty small job. All right. So body was killed between. Uh, 7.30 and 9. What does that body- who does that body belong to? Whoever it is, I'm not gonna look. I don't want to fate anymore. 
Listen, Makoto, do you remember how you how the body looked, you know, before it blew up? I remember right. It was wearing some kind of mask. The hand was different. And a big white coat. There was also a knife sticking out of the stomach. Apparently the wound had stopped bleeding, but the blood was on the body. It was the blood on the body was still wet. Hmm, so what the sprinklers didn't do anything then to moisten moisten the blood. The Aki said not to touch it to avoid getting bloody. But for how much blood there was on the body, I didn't see any on the ground around it. Okay. Thanks, that's a big help. Now that you explained it, I totally remember how it looked. Um No blood around body. Thank you too. I think I've checked everything I need to in this area. But I'm not done yet. There are other areas I need to check. That fragment I found. There's somewhere I need to go in order. I don't remember where this is from. Yeah, the body before was the hand was um, palm up, but the palm is down here. Um, palm changed. Is that corpse really Kyoko? If that's true, was Kyoko the one who attacked me? No, I'm pretty sure the mask changed people. Maybe I can answer that question. Kyoko was never the kind of person to talk about herself all that much. Maybe if I can get into her room, I'll be able to find out more. It's all clear. Uh huh. What? Yeah. Just give. Mm hmm. I'll have to see if you let me borrow the key. Probably not. Yakia. If you'd like, to, if you do come up with an alibi, I'd be happy to hear it later at the class trial. I have one. You have the key to Kyoko's room, right? I was hoping I could borrow it. I'm afraid I can't take that risk, you're the prime suspect. What? Of course, if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Then, will you go with me? <laughs> Sorry, I have my own gen agenda. Find me again later, and we'll see. Depending on my mood, I may go with you, or I may not. Alright, I don't know what that one area is. Uh, the only place I can think of that ri might have rocks is the dojo. This is not looking like the air. Oh wait, these lockers. Is anything cooking? Okay. Uh. Dude, what the fuck is this? I need to get another look at it. No, not the map. Let me have uh, another look at the thing. Uh. Dog, I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna have to wander around the school until I find it. Um, is anything cooking in the uh, the uh, blood room? Oh, wait, is Raw still there? Raw still there. Anything cooking in the blood room? Hmm. Kind of hard to tell. It's all a bit of a mess in here, but I uh, don't think anything changed. Uh, all right, let's uh, you know, let's let's have a look around. 